First off, we got Class 1A from My Hero Academia going up against the Phantom Troop from Hunter x Hunter. Anybody from My Hero beat the Phantom Troop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's, that's kind of crazy. By Class 1A, we're pretty much only talking about Midoriya, Bakugo, and Todoroki, right? Yeah. Damn near. Damn near. <laughs> I'm saying Bakugo could beat anybody. So I don't even think they need the rest of Class 1A. Ooh. Bakugo could oh, beat anybody. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Oh, 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 wait. Hold on. If we're talking about a Krolo that was boxing against yeah. Zeno Zoldic and Silva Zoldic at the same time, it's different. Yep. I don't know. I mean, maybe like a Uvo game, I, probably. I, I could see Bakugo yeah. dealing with Uvo with for, the for help sure. Of Midori, yeah. too, with Todoroki. Uh, but the thing yeah, is, no, a I lot of Class um, 1A is looking suspect, too. Wait, yeah. are we talking anime or manga? Because that changes things a lot. I mean, Absolutely. I think manga isn't fair. Class 1A will just destroy, to be honest. Oh, if, it's, but... if it's manga, Class 1A, I'm sorry. If it's anime, I'm sorry, but I, I gotta give it to the Phantom Troop, man. Like, look at Phaeton, for instance, right? I don't think mm -hmm. Todoroki Fire is dealing with Phaeton. And that's what that's what I'm thinking, too. Like, his intensity of his flames and Todoroki's are two different things. Uvo yeah. game? You don't think Bakugo can handle Uvo game? You don't think Midori can handle Uvo game? I don't know. I just... While taking a massive beatdown, he was able to still hold his ground against multiple multiple people at the same time yeah so also talking durability that goes to the phantom troop easily wait but wait kira Shuba is taking any any blast from phaeton any hit from Ooh. uvo games easily what damage is he, is he contributing it doesn't matter if he can take off he's, he's not doing fighter. anything bro is gonna what be like the fighting? last one alive just tanking <laughs> just yeah red riot exactly. unbreakable can only do so much i'm saying phantom troop for anime only anime manga it doesn't even matter it doesn't even matter i don't think anybody in it does Hunter not make Hunter any sense at all. Oh my God. I don't think it's about to go, especially. You don't think Miriam okay. can? Never. He, he, Never. he died to an explosion, did he not? Did he not oh die to an explosion? God. People were debating oh. Netro versus All Might. So the fact that you got Bakugo in this conversation is crazy. Don't they have like Ren, which is like, if you get hit by Ren, you literally just like lose the will to fight. Yeah, remember yeah. how what happened in Love? He felt his Nen of like, I think it was Pitu's Nen, and then just throw one ball. It looks like according to the polls, everyone's going with the Phantom Troop. Straw Hats versus yes, Team sir. 7. Now me looking at the Team 7 in this picture, it's obviously not adult Naruto, adult Sasuke, adult Sakura which would be crazy to deal with we're looking at luffy right now in wano the fact that he can see into the future with observation hockey it's a lot closer of a battle because jimbei is no scrub zoro now has conquerors hockey sanji is looking crazy in wano right now usap Thank has you, observation man. hockey robin can hold her own as well it comes down to more of like a teamwork type of thing rather than who's stronger than who now there's one thing from team seven that i'm worried about i think it's when naruto gets into his kcm and then you're having sasuke drop the susano and he's encasing the karama chakra mode with that i think that's scary because i don't really know what we're gonna say for real hockey end of but then, you know, Team 7, I think that they would give most of the strides to run for their money. The ones that I think that would be able to completely hold their ground firmly are Zoro, Luffy, Sanji, Jinbei. And the other Straw Hats would be able to, you know, take, you know, Sakura, but she's no scrub. So I think she'd be able to take, you know, the weaker members of the Straw Hats pretty, pretty easily. A lot of the lower rankings of the Straw Hats, they, they don't have hockey. That is an issue especially in this matchup right here. My only thing is, can Luffy's real Ohaki get through a Susanoo? Can it get through a Karama Cloak? And are we counting Yamato as part of the Straw Hats? I That's, ooh, <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah, that changes things. That does change things. But you know, we'll chill, we'll chill on Yamato right now because it's not confirmed yet. But, that would be a nice yeah, addition. I just, at the moment, I don't see them beating Naruto and Sasuke because like you even said in one of your videos, right. this dude Naruto was literally just handing out Kurama chakra modes like it was nothing like he right he was fighting for days sending out thousands of shadow clones the amount of stamina he has they just lose because these guys are literally like unstoppable demigods they don't run out of energy so and realistically also has like a time limit on it which is scary a absolutely that's a good point too sasuke having access to sharingan and renegon i believe in this form <laughs> pack it up straw hats you know you had a good run it looks like team seven won not surprised. Black Bulls versus Seven Deadly Sins. Meliodas alone solos the entire team. You know oh, how I you cool. Cool. <laughs> tell me how you touching him when you have fate manipulation with Vanessa. Manipulation? 
take yeah, a crap ton of magic. She replenishes magic with her, the other army, army. cooking. We have Asta, who can cut through yes. what half of the people in Seven Deadly Sins use. Like, it doesn't affect him. So, Meliora has all of the Ten Commandments hacks. And he has power that is stated to be stronger than the Demon King. He has casual passive hacks that would negate basically everyone in the Black Clover universe. Meliodas fought against Chaos, which is a power I don't think the Black Bulls have ever dealt with ever. On the flip side though, Yami with his mana zone is an issue for some of the Seven Deadly Sin because he's a lot faster than I would say a Golther. Now, what time of day are we talking about though? Because that matters for Escanor. Are we talking high noon, yeah. 12 o'clock? I changed my opinion. I forgot Escanor was part of the sins yes yeah, seven nations one that's it gg <laughs> asta it, it really depends on him a lot here because mm -hmm. if he can cut through magic or if he can reflect magic then that kind of makes a lot of their techniques useless especially for a wizard like merlin the black bulls only have two arcane mages i think right oh no they have three they have i think yeah, it's yeah. yami asta twice. and not sekre is arcane right sekre yeah, is arcane yeah yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah. okay so sekre yami not and asta okay gray ghost Noct, Yami, and Asta, as well as Zoro, are able to negate oh, and reflect oh. magic right back at people. Zoro is always using these magic circles on his body, so unless you're using a physical mm -hmm. attack, which I don't know if he can reflect, if you throw magic at him, he's sending it right back at you. Charmy can literally eat magic as well. She can she can eat magic and restore yeah. her health from doing oh, that. Oh man, and oh, then Gray, that's not even pretty much everybody in the Black Bulls has the ability to directly counter magic in some way. Yes. So. I just want to go over how busted the Ten Commandments are. Anyone who shows a lack of faith in Meliodas' present will have the eyes set ablaze. Basically, everyone in Black Clover is blind straight away. What yeah. about Vanessa though? Can't she just stop those? That's what I'm just saying. You also have yeah, just that. No, she literally goes into Premiere Pro, opens it up, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going into this, I was gonna go with Seven Deadly Sins, but y'all are convincing me right now. Ooh, I might have to say Black Bulls. Can roll, bro. His spatial magic. Oh, like Gray. Y'all underestimating Gray a little bit because Gray is able yeah, to literally sure. seal people's like. Yeah, she can seal. Them. She like Gosh got stabbed right through, and she was able to heal the like the tissue and like the veins and everything that was like, separated. Did heal him. Merlin has infinity. Yeah, but that's magic based though. It, it is magic based. based. People say in chat is that they keep talking about Galther and how he could have the ability to just put an idea into Vanessa's head that could stop her from using fate, right? She does not control the cat. From what I'm hearing, it's, it's not that the seven deadly sins aren't powerful. It's really that the black yeah, bulls like, have counters cheats. right now. It looks like Black Bulls are winning slightly. Team Naruto versus Team One Piece. These look really one-sided, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna look at Team One Piece first. The only two that I believe that, that would actually do good working together would be Rayleigh and Whitebeard because they've, they've been in many battles together. But if we look at Team Naruto, and I think that the teamwork between the three Kage right there, Kakashi and Minato know each other very well, and Hashirama, like, he doesn't even have to know them inside out. His healing factor, he was able to heal off of so many different things. Even Madara, his enemy, praises him constantly for how much you can heal. What are we saying for Logius? Reaper Death Seal, that's a big deal. Well, they have a lot of seals. Kakashi has Kamui, he can even use his Genjutsu, which I don't know how- Oh, that's DMS Kakashi. Speed-wise, right? Are we okay with saying that the two fastest here are Minato and Kizaru, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, no. No. Kizaru, Riley, and Whitebeard are the fastest people here, bro. I think Akashi, Minato, Kizaru are the fastest on the, on this list currently. How will Naruto characters deal with Haki? How does Haki like make the fight unbearable? They literally cannot touch some of them without Haki. What do you mean? I feel like they need to support Jiraiya so that he can use his Totong because he can capture someone in his Totong. It can be a completely immobilized and like just vulnerable. I think Jiraiya just, just gets destroyed. destroyed. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he lasts a minute in this fight again. Yeah, like, the, the, the fact that, that yeah, here, exactly. And... The fact that Whitebeard is in his, his prime. Probably, honestly, this this is just a three on three at this point because Anel and Jiraiya were really just not is. in this fight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but I think like, the most powerful person on this whole list is like DMS Kakashi. Like with a Susano, oh my god. Hell no. Oh, you have Hashirama no. and Whitebeard on here. You're saying Kakashi's stronger than both of them? DMS. DMS is boxing against Kaguya. So we have Naruto going at Kaguya at full speed, and there's Kakashi. Kamui's her ash bones right there. That is a speed feat with his um, Kamui, okay? Thing is, he was able to use his Kamui, but like Naruto was supposed to move his entire body. So if Naruto had the Kamui, he would be able to react. Even if we do give the Naruto characters hockey, what are they going to do if like one of the Logia users does what Aokiji did, where 
You know, he just moves part of his body. You'd have to be fast enough. Whitebeard's Conqueror's hockey is arguably Roger level, pretty much. Future side. We could assume that Rayleigh has it and Whitebeard has it based off of just what we're hearing right now. I mean, that last chapter of One Piece, 100%. Yeah, they definitely have it. That may help with Kamui, at least for precognition, right? They will be able to perceive that Kakashi is going to use a Kamui. I don't know how they will be able to stop it, but they may be able to see it coming. Can Prime Whitebeard right through DMS Kakashi Susano? Yes or no? no? Yeah. Oh. Yes, you can. Of course, you can. I didn't know. Oh. Didn't Tsunade like break oh, Madara? Yeah, she cracked the Susano. Susano. Like, that was, the, that was Tsunade, right? Oh, Tsunade did, though. Tsunade did. Though. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, so I mean, was able to gauge what Obito was doing and counter it, right? I, I just can't see Kamui being a huge issue for him specifically. I just can't. Mm -hmm. If um, Kakashi really strains himself, we know that Hashirama could be a support and actually, you know, boost his chakra. Hashirama compared his chakra and said to Naruto, he has almost as much chakra as I do. Yeah, three of these people on this list have Senjutsu. Hizuru and Anel can just straight up obliterate Hashirama's wood. I, I will say that Whitebeard has the highest durability on here. Have we talked about Rayleigh? He should be uh, relative to Roger. Up. He's not relative to Roger. <laughs> wait, 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 what happened? Rayleigh went up to a young Marco, Marco. and stopped his attack with a single finger. Mm -hmm. I think Hashirama by himself is enough to take on Whitebeard on an even plane <laughs> and above him. Oh, yeah. whoa. Really Anything happy. Hashirama puts out, but Whitebeard can destroy it easily. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, all right, it's getting spicy. <laughs> Hashirama versus Whitebeard is a tough conversation to have, but I do think durability-wise, I think Whitebeard, especially in his prime, it's not because I think Hashirama is weaker than Whitebeard because I definitely don't. It's just because of the fact that Hashirama's main fighting style is him spawning in wood to attack his enemies, and Whitebeard can counter that by pretty much just creating a shockwave and destroying all of that instantly. But have you seen how quickly Hashirama regenerates the wood that he has he makes like golems that can actually you know fight for themselves right here but what is someone who can create earthquakes so powerful they travel all the way to impel down even with the wood golems right because we've seen whitebeard one-armed giants at the rate that Hashirama can regenerate those golems while regenerating himself while doing a massive barrage of attacks. He can destroy as much as he wants. He can make a giant shockwave that doesn't stop Hashirama from just redoing it all again. Like the rate he does create the wood is insane, but at the same time, all Whitebeard needs to do to create a shockwave is touch the sky pretty much, and then there's a new one. Because Whitebeard is going to be wear down by the poison. Hashirama and him can really drag on that fight as long as they want, but the poison is not being stopped. Y'all are disrespecting Hashirama and forgetting the fact he faced Madara with the nine tails and Suzano. That's nice. What what is what is a Madara with nine tails and Suzano gonna do against Whitebeard? He next. And that's just a fact. When I'm thinking about this matchup, pretty much Hashirama has to land way more hits on Whitebeard then Whitebeard has to land on Hashirama. So I'm not debating Hashirama's power. All I'm saying is that the exchange that they have, Hashirama has to land a ton more hits on Whitebeard to take him down versus Whitebeard yeah, landing Whitebeard hits on Hashirama. Hashirama. Like he's that crazy. We've seen Odin, Odin, who was able to land an attack on Kaido. He got sent to the sky of fighting Whitebeard in his prime. And Odin is no scrub. If we put Odin in this matchup right here, Odin can hang with some people on Team Naruto right now. Uh, of so course, he'll, he'll still a dry him. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying Hashirama is not powerful though. Right now, based off the poll, it's tied. This is neck and neck right now. I Honestly, just fix that. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Based off of looking just at the other teams, I do think Team Fire is a solid A rank. You have Yamamoto, we can speak on the Ryu Jinjaka. Aizen had to game plan for with Wonderwatt. Natsu, he burned time magic. Ace, Ace is a Logia. Escanor, when it's 12 o'clock, you know what time it is. Super hot magic, was boxing with the Demon King. Shinra is arguably the fastest on this entire chart. Endeavor, Mario Leona, I think they're both very, very solid. I think Shinra is the fastest since he can literally like go back in time to that fast. Yeah. Like, that's Sonic stuff, right? Right there. Team Lightning is, is not getting it anywhere. Didn't Lactus from like box with Natsu? Pretty much. He, he was always depicted to be stronger. I don't know about the end though. Just looking at Team Lightning, I see a Nell. I see the Raikage. Crash. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Team Lightning's a solid C tier. Why you disrespect the Zenitsu like that, bro? Because you look at Team Fire, they have Rengoku. So Zenitsu is not really going to be matching up with that too well. Team Lightning's a solid C tier. Let's go on to Team Ice. Toshiro is great. So why is Todoroki on fire? Bro? Well, Todoroki's half and half. So Gray was boxing against uh, E and D Natsu. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and the manga is super powerful. Anime, 
Yeah, she's she's cool, I guess. I think Team Ice is okay. But I'll give him a B tier. Yeah, darkness is darkness awesome. look like an S tier already. Bro. Yeah, I, I, darkness yeah. darkness is looking okay. crazy. Blackbeard Yami. Not Demon King Meliodas, bro. Yeah, yeah. Meliodas is the heavy hitter. Dungeon Wu, the heavy hitter. That crazy. I'm not up on soul levels. Somebody gonna have to tell me. He's like uni, bro. Like universal. Bro. Like, he cannot he's die. Like he can do anything he wants to you. He has fate manip existence at Asia. What about Shinra? Both. Anime, Shinra, end of season one still beats the entire list. Honestly, I think Team Darkness and Team Fire are both A tier. Now, who am I giving it to? Just looking at Team Darkness, right? Blackbeard's Devil Fruit. He can absorb a lot of the fire that's being thrown. Don't forget about the Gurr Gurr. Yeah, and he has, yeah, and Blackbeard has a Gurr Gurr in on me as well. That's a great point. And then you also have Meliodas. Listen, Shikamaru is very intelligent. You have Yami, who obviously is ridiculously fast. Based off what I heard about Yamamoto though, I think I probably would give the slight edge to Team Fire. Because right now, yeah. I, like I said, I think Shinra is the fastest on the chart. Shinra, first of all, he's fast enough to go back in time, which nobody on this list can do. It's Sung Jin Woo versus Yamamoto and everybody else on that list. That's what I think. It's Sung Jin Woo by Nah, himself. I think it's just Jin Woo against that, uh, Shinra. Meliodas is useless too? Very, very. Yeah, he's useless. Oh, oh. See, I don't know, I don't know about yeah, Sung Jin Woo. Like, yeah, Team Fire team versus Team Darkness is, is neck and neck right now. Show stops time and Shinra isn't even dead, like, in stop time. He, he's not. He moves past stop time, bro. <laughs> this was a Super Bowl. My money is on Sung. Jinra versus Sung Jinru will be an absolutely crazy fight on a different level than everybody on that list. But Shinra, I just I just feel like Shinra would just come out, come up short in the end. I gotta you believe Jinru is faster than like immeasurable speed? Based on what I know, I probably would give it to Team Fire, but I don't know about Solo Leveling just yet. So Without Sung Jinru, I'm pretty sure Fire just like wins because i don't know of sun jun Wu, i probably would give it to team fire but from what i'm hearing right now sun jun Wu is the x factor on team darkness <laughs>